So I'm pretty excited about this tech view. Uh, this is the Vertex Phronesis, which is a mechanical keyboard that features ChatGPT and several other AIs all integrated within this keyboard. Now, the design and build of this keyboard may be a little reminiscent to a gaming keyboard, but after using this for a little more than a week, not only does it work fine for gaming, but also for productivity as well. Now, we're gonna get to the AI features of this, but let's just talk a little bit about how it performs as, you know, as a keyboard. As I mentioned earlier, since this is a mechanical keyboard, you do have that mechanical sound and feel. Buttons do feel soft, they're responsive, but at the same time, you can also replace the switches as well. So take the tool that comes with this keyboard. You also have uh, replaceable switches as well. Grab the top, go ahead and just pull that out. Grab the switch as well and pull that out and there you go. So if for some reason your keyboard, the switches wear out over time or you just wanna upgrade them or whatever, you have that flexibility right there. And what's really cool is that these switches, they only go in one way. So I can just lay it back on top. Oh boy, I messed that one up. I'll just lay it there, make sure it's secure. And then put my key back on. Now you may have noticed that this keyboard is RGB and there are several different RGB effects from rainbow pattern, gradient pattern, also a responsive pattern. You're gonna press the function and the button on top of the enter button and you'll go ahead and just cycle through the different keys until you get the final one that you like. Now, of course, like I said, uh, there are some res reactive uh, light effects, but of course it just mainly is just cycling. Pick the one that you feel comfortable sticking with. You can also connect this to your Mac or your PC three different ways. There's Bluetooth, a USB dongle, and also USB, direct USB connection. Right now I have this connected to my laptop through Bluetooth. If I switch the switch all the way to my left, I now have, well, I have the dongle connected to my PC back here and you can see the switch going back up and down right there. We can go ahead and switch it right back to Bluetooth for my laptop. But the middle is that's where you can go ahead and plug in the USB wire and have, you can either charge it or have that direct wired connection with your keyboard to your Mac or PC. Now, like any keyboard, it's gotta feel comfortable, right? You want your hands to feel nice and you want your wrist to feel achy. Well, you do have a two tier kickstand for your key keyboard. Me personally, I like it by default the way it is. It's thick enough, it's flat enough, works fine for me. You can bring it over and adjust this system that you hear. This is the max height, bring that down. This is, that's the minimum height and max height right there. So go ahead, adjust that. There's two, you have two on the side. So go ahead and find the angle that's right for you. Finally, there's a microphone on your keyboard. This is what picks up your voice. So you can transcribe, translate, or even talk directly with chat. So you're going back and forth, super convenient. Now. Marrying all of that together, uh, awesome mechanical keyboard with the power of AI. We're doing that with the VAI software. Now, in order to arm that, right now it's not on. Right now we're just kind of using this as a regular keyboard. So when I press like the print scroll, window is going to recognize those functions or those sh shortcuts for that. But once I press the AI switch and the background goes white and my software detects it, now all of these keys become AI shortcuts like PowerPoint, my AI assist, and also AI image. But we also have this AI button down here, which is pretty cool. I can ask it things like, um, here we go. Hey, can you give me a five day itinerary for a vacation in Paris? Once I let go, it'll see my question and it'll give me an automatic response. Okay, and once that's done, I got it. To, that list looks pretty awesome, but also gives me some recommendations that we can follow up next. Um, but I, what, what I do want to ask is, um, what are the top three things to do in Paris? So we garden stroll, the Eiffel Tower, the and the Lille de la Seat. I think that's how I pronounce it. But as you can see, you can go back and forth. Uh, one of the cool things that I like about this as well is, let's go to our shortcut, the AI image. We'll just press that. It'll take us directly to our unleash your image so we can create some AI generation. Uh, we can add, we can have it create an AI drawing or we can upload our own image so it can affect it and do some other things. We can reference an image, um, general such as seismic, animate, the different styles. 
We can play with the ratio. Uh, again, different styles and of course the perspective. We can choose different perspectives of how we're gonna do it. Uh, some pre-stock and of course we have some other options here for our AI tool as you'll see when we get in. But I'm gonna do um, man walking on the moon. We'll do that. And once it generates that image, bring your attention here to, we have a preview, cropping, label, so we can add text, but also AI tools where we can AI mat our image. So I can take out the background and just have the, uh, the astronaut. Um, we can enhance the clarity. Usually I find with the first images, they're sharp, but not really sharp. I guess it's the first run, but if you really want it, do that so it can really enhance the clarity of that. You can animate this instantly, which is really cool. Uh, area repaint and also you can expand the image. So since this image is, in, is four by three, if we want to expand it, we can select 16 by nine and it'll stretch it generating a, big, uh, a bigger image. And of course, if we wanna reference this to something else, we can drag an image right here to the reference and also play with perspectives and other things as well. Okay, let's jump to the PowerPoint presentation. So we'll just, again, we'll press it once. It takes us directly to our AI presentation maker. And for our AI, for our PowerPoint presentation, how to make the best pancakes. I'm doing that for my son because he really loves pancakes. So we'll set that up. Okay, we have different op uh, options. We can put in requirements, our language, number of slides. Let's keep the slides to, I want to keep it down to five right word we can select that uh outline knowledge preference uh so let's select the template um which one looks like i mean I don't, of course you can choose your own template here but these are some provided templates already i'm gonna i'm gonna pick this one okay and we'll go ahead and generate our powerpoint presentation and automatically it's gonna make some quick bullet points you can go in rearrange them uh delete them move them up or down uh rewrite them, whatever. Just keep in mind that this is just the bones, the skeleton of your PowerPoint presentation. It's up to you to put the meat on it, but this is a great way to start off. All right, so once that is done, we will generate our content because remember we picked our, our template already. It's going to create our slides. And once it's done with our slides, our five slides, it's then gonna take us to, there we go. It's now gonna generate our template our slides with the template and there we go how to make the best pancakes and we can tweak all that stuff adjust the font adjust the spacing things like that super simple super ready to go okay let's talk about voice typing which is one of the big features when it comes to the phronesis so i'm going to open up my word document here and i'm just going to basically resummarize what i've said about this keyboard so far so we can so we can transcribe it and then we could probably resummarize it, create bullet points, even rewrite it. So here we go. I'm gonna go to voice typing. And so today we are talking about the Vertex Phronesis, which is a mechanical chat GPT keyboard that features other AIs, a other AIs to use uh, with RGB effects, uh, shortcut keys for AI, all using the V all using the VAI software. It is compatible with Mac and PC. You can use Bluetooth, a USB dongle, or a direct wired connection. All right, we got there, and it's doing everything right there. It's typing it out. There we go. So I just spoke it, transcribed it, and got it. Now we're gonna use the smart toolbar. All you have to do is, let's just say you have an email, a PDF, um, or any kind of document. Right, and you want to rewrite that section, okay? We're gonna use this as an example. What you're gonna do is highlight it and copy it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, highlight and copy that. It's gonna store it in its, it's gonna store in its bank and I just press the smart toolbar and it's gonna pop up directly in that box and it's going to rewrite what we just did. If I wanted to, I could summarize it All right, it gives me bullet points. It'll give me key keywords. If first, let's just say I'm creating a, a YouTube video. It'll find probably the best keyword videos for this. I should probably take a screenshot of this. Yeah, and of course, I'm pretty sure my original version had some errors. So if we rewrite it, it'll clean everything up for me, which it's super convenient. 
So now we're going to try the active AI meet and record. So this is awesome. Let's just say if you're in a Zoom meeting and you want to record like the entire Zoom call and also have the individual speakers as different, uh, have them labeled as individual speakers, you can do that. You can use that to also record YouTube videos, kind of mimicking that as well, just to transcribe everything and, and break it down. So I'm going to press, here we go, meet and record. It's going to bring it up. I have the option for live transcription or import audio. We're going to do a live transcription. We're going to set up Microsoft English to speaker label. Yes, we want that on. Microphone is coming from our, our keyboard. And of course, we can set the gain um, for it. So go ahead two times because it's, there's a little bit of a difference. But we're just going to play with that here. And of course, screen, screen recording so we can go perform. And it's recording right here. Now, since I don't have like an active Zoom meeting going right now, I do have a YouTube video that has kind of like a, like a funny Zoom skit. So we'll go from there. So I'll bring it up. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey. Hello. Welcome to Sales Corp Industries first Zoom call. Uh, this is how we're going to be doing meetings now. So we wanted to get everyone acquainted with the program with a little Zoom tutorial. On the call today, we got Brian from Sales. Oh man, it's so good to see everybody. <laughs> At a safe distance, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got Crystal from Market Research. Uh, sorry, my place is such a wreck. Uh, anybody up to anything fun at home? Well, mainly like. Okay, so we'll pause right there and you can see that it's picked up to five different speakers. So we'll stop the recording. Okay, and here we can actually get a full text overview, a chapter outline. Um, we can, it's asked me, you can ask me to do these things so we can set up some different parameters of what we want to do next. Uh, here we go, there's a summary. It'll summarize everything that we're going here, a, a Zoom meeting tutorial skit summary. We can also do a mind map to see where the flow of thought is. So it really is beneficial, especially again, if you're in a Zoom meeting or if you're you're recording YouTube videos and you want a mind map or summary of, summary of the content that you just uh, consumed, it's a valuable tool. On top of that, all audio is stored locally so you can, the playback is always available to you. Okay, let's move to the AI agent, which is really cool because you can actually use that to help you reply uh, to email. So I'm gonna go ahead and here, I'm gonna go email reply. And here I have two boxes, original text and key points of reply. So let's just say you have an email and someone's asking you a specific question or making a specific proposal and you're wondering how do I respond? Uh, while I'm not gonna share an email that I have, I am gonna create one. So let's just say, uh, hey, Lo, love your videos. We would love for you to review our latest model of the Tesla Model S. Dual motor edition. Would love to hear back from you. Can't wait. You know, a guy can wish, right? Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna go to the points reply and I'm like, okay, so how do I, how do I want to reply? Um, what is the criteria for the review. These are the things that I want to respond with. I know I'm spelling that wrong. Um, what else? Uh, do I have to return to Tesla? <laughs> uh, and also, um, what else? Okay, are there any strings attached? Okay, so there we go. So we can format, decipher, uh, yeah. And I want to re respond enthusiastically, uh, not passion or serious. I want to I want to have some little enthusiasm. So we'll go ahead and send. And right here it says, okay, I understand. Here's a reply email. And this is my response. Hey there, thank you so much for reaching out and for the kind words about my videos. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely excited about the possibility of reviewing the latest Tesla Model S motor, uh, dual motor edition. Sounds amazing. Okay, this is a really long. Uh, response to make sure I can give it a thorough and fair review. Could you clarify a few things about the, the criteria that you're looking for in the review, knowing that what aspects you'd like to me to focus on and what would you super helpful? That would be super helpful. Also, I'd like to confirm the Tesla needs your return after review period. Finally, are, are there any specific conditions or strings attached to the review? And there we go. And I can copy export that or I can regenerate, regenerate it, uh, the options 
there. And there is just so much else that we haven't gotten to. You know, again, there are, you have so many different shortcuts here for your AI. If we take a closer look here, we have our main page uh, that we can create a new session, the AI reading, uh, general reading, meeting summary, summary paper, or screen, uh, screening your resume, AI writing with so many different options. Again, the PowerPoint presentation, the image, the AI meeting, as we saw before, we have an AI agent, which is the hotkeys right here. We have our info, our history, you can view it all. Of course, we have settings and notes that we can do right there. Okay. Oh, and also last thing, um, you do have the option. Let me go back here. I mentioned that there were several AIs to choose from. Here you go, ChatGPT4, Gemini, DeepSeek, and also updated version ones. Uh, also up for also updated versions as well. Uh, you can also go for the upgrade to the plus, which gives you access to the more advanced models of ChatGPT and Gemini. Um, you have more tools to work with. Of course, you, it's, a, it's a monthly rate, so you can see if that makes sense to you. Uh, but definitely this, this is pretty cool. And I love how everything is in integrated all together. All right, let me share with you my final thoughts. Now, first as a keyboard, it's a solid keyboard, mechanical keyboard, switch it out, RGB effects. I like it. If I had to say one thing, me personally, I wish I had a keypad, I, uh, a number keyboard. I'm so used to a, a number keypad and I found myself like, oh, it's not there. Outside of that, it works just fine. I love the AI features, especially when it goes to um, the AI imaging and creating the emails and also how I can just chat with it back and forth, which is really cool, it being with a keyboard. Uh, since the app is running in the background, I can just be like, hey, um, what are the tires do I need for a Honda Civic? And it'll just be come up, you know? I, I'm just thinking right there. There's no additional typing or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just asking it and I'm good to go. And it's all integrated either when I'm using this on my laptop or on my PC. Overall, excited about this. Check it out. You can go ahead and support them on Kickstarter. This is going to be really cool. All right. Hope this video will help you out. Take care. Bye. As always, I'll leave the link in the description down below so you can pick up your own. Hey guys, if you like this video, leave a like. If you love it, subscribe and ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. I'll see you next one. Take care.